Hello everyone, I'm Jia Tongli from University of Science and Technology of China, the first author of the Web Conference 2024 research paper towards the identifiability and explainability for personalized learner modeling and inductive paradigm. In this paper, we studied the significant personalized learner modeling technique widely applied in web learning services. To address the non-identifiability and explainability overfitting problem of existing cognitive diagnosis-based personalized learner modeling techniques, we propose a novel inductive paradigm and framework, the Identifiable Cognitive Diagnosis Framework, IDCDF. It is a brand new personalized learner modeling paradigm that enables web learning service users to directly obtain their identifiable and explainable diagnostic results from their test response data in an end-to-end -end manner. Compared to classical models, the innovation of IDCDF is at the paradigm level. Classical cognitive diagnosis models always focus on accurately modeling and predicting learners' response data, such as the response scores. Diagnostic results are also viewed as learner and item embeddings and are learned through parameter estimation. However, we suppose that the personalized learner modeling task itself should focus more on the diagnostic results inference process rather than the score prediction process. Driven by this idea, in our proposed framework, we allow researchers to define their own diagnostic module that directly infer diagnostic results from response data. Then, inferred diagnostic results are input to the predictive module of IDCDF to reconstruct response data to ensure its usability. Actually, we have used extensive experiments to demonstrate the effectiveness of this work. Experimental results show that IDCDF not only ensure the ident identifiability and explainability of diagnostic results without loss of accuracy, but also show better statistical properties of diagnostic results than existing baselines. Indeed, this research is pioneering in the field of user modeling. With the help of our proposed framework, researchers can focus more on the diagnosis process of personalized learner modeling and design various diagnostic modules to adapt to different real-world requirements, such as lifelong learner modeling and the utilization of multimodal learner data. We hope this work can inspire more exploration in personalized learner modeling research in the future. Thank you.